I go to the dentist with my little boy, we go together and we go every six months. Oh well, our dentist we've got now is amazing. She is, oh, I can't, I can't say enough of how good she is. She's just brilliant. She's really welcoming when you first come in, big smile, sit down with Finn who's nine now. And she tells him everything first of all. She doesn't do anything. She says, this is this, do you want to feel it, touch it? I'm going to now put this in your mouth and do this. If it's going to hurt a little bit, she'll say this may feel this way or that way, um, but it'll only be quick and, you know, put your hand up if you want me to stop at any time. She says that to me as well. If she's, you know, even, I've only had, you know, cleaning done or whatever. Gives him lots of feedback about how he's cleaning his teeth really well and, um, and I've got electric toothbrushes that she's recommended which are amazing. So she's all about preventative, so you never feel in any way she's trying to rip you off. You know, you just know she's there, sound, solid, wants you to have good healthy teeth, you know. Well the worst experience was when I was a child and I had a brace. And um, I was about 10, 11. So I was quite young, I was still at primary school and I never used to wear my brace because it used to disgust me when I had to eat with it in and it was one of the ones you could take out, I don't know if you know those kind with a silver bar and a palette. So if I got food stuck in it I just went and it would just disgust me beyond. So I just had to take it out and wrap it in a tissue when I had my school dinner which was lethal because then I had to remember to put it back in and it was fearsome. He hated kids, you could tell. He kind of, it was like a roll doll character actually because he had that weird <laughs> circular silver thing on his head for some reason which I never knew what that was for and he never smiled you know he clearly kind of just looked at you with like oh there's a child here you know and you'd you'd sit down in that big chair which when I was t I was tiny do you know what I mean so it was like massive terrifying and um and I had I hadn't been wearing my brace because I'd forget to put it back in after my dinner. So then, you know, I'd get home and I would have had it in half of the day. And um, and I think one of my parents had sort of told him this and he, he leant forward, right? He leant forward like this and he literally had his finger and he was spitting in my face. And he leant forward and he went, if you don't wear that brace, I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna throw you through that window what he said to me <laughs> and I just was like oh.